Guess what we got? What's going on everybody? DJ Graham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today I've got 9 mods for you for all platforms. I've got 5 new and 3 updates and for PC we've got 1 new map. Let's check it out. First up today, we have the Zader Forterra HD. This is by one of my favorite modders, Matt26. Let's jump in and check this out. This is kind of the big brother to the Zader that we got last week. You're going to find this in medium tractors. And of course, if you've got as many installed as I do, you're going to have to go all the way to the end because it starts with a Z. There it is right there. So we've got a couple different configurations that we could change up. Main color, we have bright and dark. Uh, that kind of changes the paint from more of a brighter color to more of a darker color, but it, it's still red, right there at least. Rim color, we've got three different ones. We have red, we have silver, which is the in-game silver. <coughs> cough, cough, giants, add this color, please. And white, we also have white, and it's the real white, not a weird white. We also have a couple different engine configurations, and in the engine configurations, this will change the color of the tractor itself. So let's check it out. We have 130 HD. It's going to give you 127 horsepower. We have 140 HD. It's going to give you 136 horsepower. And we have 150. It's going to give you 147 horsepower. Now, we get into the special editions. Same engine setups here, but it's white. Ah, oh, yeah. Now, this will change up the logo as well. So you can see here when we've got a red, it's a black logo with a white outline. And when we go here, it is a red logo with a black outline. Very, very cool. I like the detail on that right there. Also, wheel brand right here. We have Trelleborg and we have Nokian. In Trelleborg, nothing too crazy. Standards, we have wheel weights, which we do have those really cool wheel weights. I love those. Wide tires, wides with weights, narrow tires, rear twins, twins all around, and back to standard again. So any of those that work for you is good. And then front attacher, no or yes. Now, the front attacher will change with the color, which is really cool, and I like that. I really, really like that. Um, as far as the red, I'm not 100% sure which red it is. You may have to go back and forth, but I know that the white is just the standard in-game white, and if you're going to be using that, this right here is the smaller of the stole front loader, so it's not the... Uh, ooh, we'll take a look and see. So this is the FZ30, not the FZ60. Um, you could probably use the FZ60 and be fine, even though the horsepower requirement's a little different. I still think you'll be okay with it, but this one right here works perfect. There you go. That's the Zader Forterra HD. Up next, we have the Agrimass AP30. This is a cultivator, and you could probably guess how wide it is, and there is no customization. Next up, we have the Flegel Front Loader Tools. So these guys right here, we have two different models. We have the Flegel Manure Grab Fork, which is on our left, and then we have the Flegel Bell Cutter, which is on our right. Now, the Bell Cutter is interesting because I don't think we had anything like this in the game before. Basically, what it is is... You go up to a bell, spike the bell, and then grab a hold of it, and it's not going to go anywhere. It's a really, really cool mod right there. So we do have a little bit of customization. We're going to check these out. We're going to go into tools. We're going to go into front loaders, and you really don't have to go too crazy far, and we've already passed it. Boom, right here. Also, it does match all the other Flegal stuff in-game, so keep that in mind. So right here, this is our manure grab fork, 1,650 liters. Main color, we've got red, and we've got black. Those are going to be the uh, spikes in the front. I like the flegal red, so we're going to stick with that. And design reflectors, yes? Well, no. I like the reflectors on this one. I really, really do. I think it looks cool. It gives it a different look. It kind of sets it apart. It catches your eye. I like that. Not too bad. Plus, what, twelve or $2,500 for that? That's not a bad price. And we have the bell color, or bell cutter, rather. Now this is going to, it says it holds a thousand liters, but that doesn't really make any sense to me. <laughs> so, actually, we'll pop out, let's see. Actually, yeah, it'll hold a thousand liters of normal, or of a uh, forage crop. Who would have thought? But you can easily spike a bell with it as well. Also, you could spike a bell with this if you really want to. Um, and then here, design reflectors, yes or no. This is something I am not a fan of because it looks like you've just taken a the, the reflector and like, well, 
I want to add the same thing on both, so let's just stick it on the inside. I think that looks bad. Hey, maybe you like it. If you do like it, let me know. I don't, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put it on there. Thirty-three hundred dollars for this guy right here. There you go. There's your Flegel front loader tools. Next, we have the Lizard Car Trailer. Now, I thought this was gonna be a trailer for cars, but this is a trailer for cars. But not in the same way. <laughs> Let's check it out right here. It's a very good looking trailer. I think it is at least. Uh, kind of a galvanized look around the sides. Nice metal. Got reflectors. Lizard brand. Wheels. There's no branding on the wheels, it doesn't look like. Nope, no branding on the wheels. Uh, the back of it looks really good. It's hard to, hard to not like this, to be honest with you. Now, this can hold a couple different things. Let's jump in and check it out. So, uh, one thing we can do is we've got straps, so we can put straps on there. Um, also, it holds crop. It holds, uh, what is it, 2,230 liters of crop. So, let's check it out in the store. Where are you going to find this? Well, this is going to be found in tools. It's going to be found in trailers and the logo for it is a little small now of course it's the right size but it's just a little small so when you get about halfway down i highly recommend just kind of peeking through a little bit there it is right there so it is between kind of the agri liner stuff the crone lagra and the lizard stuff so it's actually right at the beginning of the lizard brand just look for that uh interestingly though Online, it says 2,230 liters, but in game, it says 1,400 liters. Oh, the consistency is amazing. <laughs> Price still is the same, however. $3,500. This is a bulk trailer, so uh, if you have a modded crop, for example, on your farm, this will work perfectly fine for a lot of questions on that. Well, if the, if the map has a, a modded crop, will it work with normal trailers? Yes. Yes, kind of overrides that. Um, it the, the the XML file just says bulk, so basically any solid thing it will hold. No customization. Hey, like I said, great looking mod right here. I dig this. The last new mod for all platforms today. This is the pigsty. Now I love everything about this mod for one thing, and I will show you that last. But first, I want to show you everything that I really like about this. This is not just a pigsty. Let's go around it. It's not just a pigsty. It's got a loft. We can open all the doors. Of course, this is where you buy your pigs right here. Let's go ahead and close that. We've got doors everywhere. And why do we have doors everywhere? Because this is also a shed. It's amazing. It's a shed and we got lights. And I like the lights because it's a super bright light with kind of a hue around it, which is exactly what would be in here. It's super dark. Uh, there's no windows on this side, so you can see exactly... Well, there's a little window right there. Ignore that little window right there. <laughs> so we've got that. If we come out here, we've got another light out here hanging. We've got more places to put tractors and stuff like that. It's just really cool. I like this. Now, there is a loft, and this is the problem I have. And maybe I'm having an issue, um, and if the modder... Cam Camillo's 0397 wants to contact me and help me out. I would love some help. Maybe one of you guys would help me as well. I can't get in there to save my life. And there's pictures of it on uh, online that show stuff in there. Now, of course, we can open the door, but in order to open the door, I actually had to bring this over here. And then, <laughs> if I can do this. So I can open and close the door from here. However, I can't get in here. I'm just unable. I can't creep. I'm trying to creep to get in there. I, it just, nothing's working. So if anybody wants to give me a hand with that and help me out and not make me look like an idiot, that'd be great. Otherwise, I'm gonna sit here and look like an idiot. Nonetheless though, this mod, again, really cool. I like this, it's different. Uh, I've said mods that I wanted to see in 19. We've got everything, well, mostly everything that we need. What would be cool is to see the things that we didn't know we needed. I didn't know that I needed a pigsty where I could park all my tractors. If you want to run a small pig farm, this is cool. I will praise this all day long. I just want to get at the top, man. That's all. <laughs> so let's check 
this out. Ooh, actually, I have a way that would work. Just put a uh, put a um, tele telehandler. What are those called? <laughs> Goodness gracious, skid steer. Get one of these skid steers, like this little John Deere, and just like lift it up there with a telehandler and put it in there. That might work. Regardless, let's check this out in the store. Where are you going to find this? Well, this is in Placeables. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> it's in Placeables. And you're going to find it right here. Pig enclosure, $50,000. Holds 50 pigs. It doesn't hold a lot of pigs. But as you know, pigs make more pigs. So you get 10 that's going to be filled up overnight. Um, normal amount of crops, normal stuff. Boom, right here. Uh, it will rock with the 90 degree axis. It kind of holds with the map itself. So if you've got somewhere that you're trying to really put this up against, well, this is going to be perfect for you. You can easily get this right up close to it. Boom, just like that. Again, I really like this mod. I just want to get up the... <laughs> I just want to get in here. Moving into updates for all platforms. This right here is the Fent Vario 700. Now, we've got a different name for it in the game. However, it's just Fent 700 blah, 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 numbers Vario. Boom, right there. So, changelog 1.0.1. I think this is the first changelog for this. Uh, the description version has been elevated. New grids, inner animation on the steering base, and cuff animated as well. So, you can see the steering wheel is up. If I come to it, we're going to jump in, and then the steering wheel comes down. That is one thing that I'm like, that is so cool. Look at that. How do you do that? I don't even know how you do that. Man, that's awesome. Anyway, this is one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite fit mods because it's got plenty of horsepower, and I can do the design that I really like, the, uh, the petrol blue with the black wheels. Man, just one thing. I didn't know I needed that color until we got it. It's really cool. And we've got an update to another fan, the Fent 800 favorite. Now, this is by the same modder, Smetty, that made the Fent 900 favorite that we got just a few days ago in game. Uh, so, this right here, changelog 1.1, this is our first changelog. Uh, forest version has been added and fixed the hood. So, now this version right here, if you guys want to run like an 800 and a 900 on your farm, a lot of people did that in Farming Simulator 17. I know I did. Now you can. You can rock a couple forestry versions, go with some old forestry equipment, and you're good to go. Speaking of forestry equipment, we've got our last mod update for all platforms. This is the Wood Lifter. I know me and Stefan were like, what is the Wood Lifter? It's an update. Right here, 1.1, name adjusted and added original manufacturer colors. Now, this one is a bit of an interesting mod. Not too crazy with it, but this is going to be found in tools, and it is going to be found in forestry machines. Boom, and it's right here, the Wood Lifter. And of course, they've added all these as well. So now we have Case, Pottinger, Homer, Horse. So we have all those reds. Great job on that. That's awesome. We also have Amazon Steel. We have Limgen, New Holland, Lieber, Ponzi, Massey Ferguson. What? Are you sure? All right, I'll trust you. Massey Ferguson Green, uh, Dual Heats, Fent Old, Fent New, and Big Bud. What? You have Big Bud on here? Man, I'm digging it. This right here, it's got a trailer hitch on the blade, and of course, it's a three-point, so Big Butts don't have three points. You know what? I'm just happy we have a color called Big Butt. That hypes me up. There you go. That is your mod update for the wood lifter. And lastly today, welcome to Grower's Farm by MJ Modding. It is finally here. Unfortunately, it's only on PC right now. Uh, I have talked to MJ and he says console players stay tuned for more information. So uh, I believe this is a, ma a map that he was really wanting to get on console as well. So again, stay tuned for that. So, features of the map, all buildings are static, animated objects like lights, gates, and more. This map includes all Farming Simulator 19 features. All animals are built into the map. 59 fields of small, medium, and large. Three farms, four yards, BGA shop, one grain cell point, cows and sheep, pigs and chickens, and custom transport missions. Oh yeah, man, I can't wait to play this. MJ Monty maps are some of my favorite and I can't wait to play this one as well. So let's take a look at the PDA real quick. You can see we have a very big map. Uh, it is a 2X map, and it has taken up the entire map. Um, there's really not a lot going on. There is a tree line around the outside, but it is really not that much. It takes up the entire portion. So this is going to be great for doing uh, like cows, for example. Like we're on our main farm now. 
This is a massive, massive cow farm. I am digging this very, very much. So um, one thing, let's pop in. I do want to take a look and see how many animals we can have. So let's see. Let's go up to our sheep pasture first. Looks like we can have 250 sheep. Let's go over. That is <laughs> all right. There we go cow pasture let's see here we can have 200 cows you can have 300 pigs eight horses and 400 chickens so that is cool good amount of animals there should be more than enough to do whatever you need to do mj yeah, I'll did yourself on this one, man. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like, get subscribed to the channel, join the Goham fam. Make sure you guys don't miss any videos that we're doing here on the channel. We do daily farming simulator videos. That being said, hope you guys have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.